Yo, what's going on guys? It is FoxyDo98 here. Welcome back to a brand new F1 2020 car launch video for you guys today here on the channel. Today, the reigning champions, Mercedes-Benz, have officially unveiled their 2020 livery uh, uh, here today. And obviously, they're revealing their car then on Friday. So obviously, what you can see on your screens right now is the Mercedes car. Um, obviously, it's not the official 2020 car. This is their show car that they always use. Um, but they've got their 2020 livery on it. And my first impressions, it's taken me a little bit of time to sort of get a bit of a swing of it and I'll sort of let you know how I feel. Um, first of all, as um, I've actually just gone through Twitter now to keep the photos up, uh, Tierra Limitless has literally just commented saying, as expected, don't fix what isn't broken. And I kind of agree with that. The livery last year was incredible. I loved it and I still love it now. Uh, and to see that they haven't really done anything major to it, I'm fine with it. The livery's cool and it's the same sort of uh, style as like when Toro Rosso did theirs, of course. Um, they had their livery from 2017, 18, and 19, and obviously it got a bit boring in 2019, but it's like, you know, it wasn't broken, so don't fix it. And the uh, same thing with this. They haven't fixed what's... They haven't fixed it. They've just added to it. Um, so, overall then, if we have a look at the livery scheme, obviously the first things that we can really see is Mercedes's big partnership brand deal um, with... Ineos. I've probably said that wrong. Um, I mostly say things wrong anyway. Um, but yeah, they've obviously got a big brand deal with them uh, and they've incorporated a lot of red onto their car, which I'm completely fine with. So the first picture then we're going to look at is obviously just from the overall front uh, end view of the Mercedes car. They haven't really got many cars from like different perspectives and different angles. Um, so we're just going to have to work with what we got, but it's completely fine. Having a, having a look at the front wing then. So we can obviously see that we've got the silver front wing uh, and obviously the silver nose cone. Slight difference in terms of the front wing end plate. So on the end plate now, the sort of uh, the Patronus uh, stripe sort of comes down. But we've got a little bit of black now that comes onto the end of the Patronus stripes. And then we've got the Ineos um, logo on the side of the uh, inner front wing end plates. And that also actually transparents into a slightly uh, red piece of um, gradient in with the black Really, really nice on on that front wing. It does look good, uh, and I and I really do like it. Uh, we can also see that the Ineos um, has got uh, a piece around the uh, airbox as well at the top, uh, and I'll explain that in a minute. Now, I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. Um, I saw the reveal um, tweet saying like we've got silver, green, and red um, as their thing. And I saw then the, obviously they were saying, oh, we're going to reveal the livery for you guys today. I completely forgot that obviously Mercedes had a big deal with Ineos. I actually thought that this red airbox thing was a little bit of a, a tribute to Nicky Lauda. Or I thought maybe they'd actually go with a red halo like they did for Monaco and, and do a full tribute to Lauda in that way. Um, but obviously I was incorrect. It was obviously to do with the sponsor. However, though, in saying that, it's still nice to see red on there because in some respects... I can still, I can just, personally as like a racer, I can just still feel that Nicky Lauda vibe to it. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, um, but it's personally how uh, I feel. So yeah, that's that's what I'm going to say from that. Next picture though we're going to see is again uh, showing some more, most of these are pretty much just pictures of the brand deal with the uh, Ineos. Um, what we can see then is we've got the, the halo. So we can see obviously the Ineos on the side pieces of the halo there. And then obviously how the Ineos um, logo works on the airbox. And again, it's obviously red and then it fades into that black with the gradient in there. What we can also see from the side as well, especially from this picture here, is the uh, Mercedes stars. So obviously last year Mercedes introduced a brand new type of livery uh, when we had the black gradient on the back and we had loads of stars on, on uh, Mercedes-Benz stars uh, on there. And uh, they sort of went overly just towards the black and as that faded into the silver it disappeared. On this livery they've included a lot more um, Mercedes-Benz stars. So nice to see. Um, I do like it. Um, and uh, yeah, nice little touch there. And we can see how uh, how much the, the uh, deal that they've got, this partnership, has really allowed uh, more creativity in terms of the livery. In terms of, you know, uh, just showcasing um, different bits in there as well. Next up, then we're going to have a look at the rear of the car. And as you can see on the rear wing of the car, um, pretty self-explanatory. The uh, giant Ineos logo on the back there. So, again, showing that they've got a lot more uh, freedom to work uh, with um, the, uh, the car itself, um, which is absolutely brilliant uh, to see. Following from that then, um, we're going to move away from that one because there's not really much to showcase onto that one. Uh, we've then got another picture here which shows again uh, that uh, red piece on the airbox with the uh, Ineos colouring. And as I'm actually recording this as well, um, there are a few more pictures that are up on Twitter. I haven't put them in this video, but luckily they've come up now. So I'm going to put them in there. Um, but yeah, with this one, you could just see once again how they're just pretty much just showcasing the brand uh, in, in its way. But um Moving over to Formula One's official tweet because they've got two more pictures that I don't, 
I actually got three more pictures that I haven't actually used. So thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Uh, I could do with a few more. Uh, we'll go with this one then. So we've got a full top-down view of the Mercedes-Benz car. Now this actually looks like a... Um, it, it literally, this picture, it almost reminds me of like someone selling their model uh, Mercedes-Benz on eBay and they've just put it on a carpet and they're just trying to like take a picture to, to just sell it. I don't know if you get that vibe like I do, um, but yeah, that, that's kind of what I get. Um, so from this one, we've got actually quite a lot of pieces that we can sort of look at here. So like I said before, again, the stars or the Mercedes-Benz stars um, are once again present all the way across and a little bit further onto uh, just towards the airbox, which is very nice. I really do like the stars on there. Um, with the Patronus um, blue or the Patronus green, should we say, um, they've also got a very de uh, black outline uh, between that. Obviously, beforehand, we sort of seen that Patronus green just sort of fade on through but on this livery in particular um especially from obviously where it starts on the front wing coming all the way upwards it actually scrolls all the way down uh, and there's obviously the uh, the black pieces in there as well and obviously the black side uh, port side pods and barge boards in there as well but they'll be changed when the actual car is uh given its shakedown uh, around silverstone on friday so a little bit more of that so maybe if mercedes reveals some videos on friday i'll upload those uh just so you guys can uh, see the the car uh, driving around but um yeah, that is uh, from that perspective. We've then got another picture showcasing again the side of the car. Um, and this is what I was talking about when I was just trying to say earlier about the um, Patronus um, green stripe uh, with that black um, sort of covering in the center lines of it. Um, so you can see there how it's sort of um, how that green uh, line is covered then on both sides by a black, black line. So it's sort of just going through the middle. I quite like that. And then obviously uh, with the um, two pieces uh, on the side uh, there where the side pod is, you can see the Patronus logo and also the uh, the black piece in there. So the gradient from silver into black, um, which overall I think uh, actually looks really, really nice. And the more that I'm actually getting an opportunity to look at this Mercedes, the more I'm starting to cut, the more I'm starting to like it. I'll be perfectly honest with you. When I first, when they, when they first launched it, I was like, oh, okay, this is a bit meh. Um, but the more I'm looking at it now, the more I'm talking it with you guys, um, I am really starting to, to like it a lot. And then the final picture here is again of the front wing, um, but from a slightly different angle. Uh, and you can see again that we've obviously got what we've already explained before in there. But guys, that is going to be the F1 2020 Mercedes-Benz W11 livery. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, feel free to drop it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well. Let me know what you think of the Mercedes-Benz livery. If I'm going to rate it out of 10 like I've done for every single one of them, my initial opinion was a 5 out of 10 when I first saw the livery come out, I'll be perfectly honest with you. However, now that I've got a chance to actually look at it, see some more pictures, because the live stream is a bit blurry, I'm probably going to give it uh, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. I really do like the livery in general. The matte silver and the matte, the matte colour scheme as well, because they've changed it to a matte colour, same as Red Bull and Ferrari have changed to. Going to take me a little bit of time to sort of work with that, but like for the example, the matte Red Bull, I do like it in the Ferrari at the end of the season. I liked it. I just need a bit more time to work with that matte colour scheme. Uh, I like the, the fact that they've sort of kept they've kept it pretty much the same and just developed on it. It was such a nice livery in the first place, and the red from the Ineos is such a great touch. Uh, and personally, like I said, it reminds me of Nicky Lauda. Um, but um, yeah, it's a very nice livery. Um, but let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Tomorrow we've got Ferrari uh, launching their livery. This is actually late. This is launching at six thirty uh, in the evening. Um, in European time, so for me, it'd be half five in the evening. So this is quite later, um, which is interesting. And I think McLaren might be at the same day, or unless they're on the, the next day. But it is launch week, so we're going to be covering all the liveries. Uh, and uh, don't worry, guys, I'll also be using this livery uh, in the F1 project uh, for season two uh, from China onwards, because I need to record those episodes. And I'm going to wait for someone to put it on race department and then just leave a link because I'm lazy and can't bother to do it myself. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Peace.